I've been to Korea three times as a missionary for about a year and a half in Seoul for one summer and teaching English in Chunan right after Doug and I got married. We left Korea on August 2nd, 1997, and today is August 22nd, 2017, 20 years later. We are finally going back with our two kids, and we are super excited. The kids had been on planes before, but nothing this big, so that was pretty exciting. They got special headphones and activity packets. The food was all right. Doug and I both had the peeping pop, and it was pretty tasty. It was light the whole way there, but after the meal, they put down the window shades and dimmed the lights so people could get some rest. We left SeaTac Airport around 2 p.m. on Tuesday, crossed over the International Date Line, and landed at Incheon Airport just after 5 p.m. on Wednesday. The flight was almost 11 hours. After the first few hours, the novelty wears off, and then you just settle in for the long haul and maybe eventually get some sleep. Shortly before we landed, they opened the shades and fed everyone again, which made it feel like morning, though it was actually late afternoon. There we go. There's our plane. We have made it! Dochaketta! Let's go on. Okay, guys, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Kate's very tired. When Doug and I came to Korea before, we flew in and out of Kimpo. Incheon Airport opened in 2001. It handles most of the international flights now. It's farther away from Seoul, but easy to get to. It took us almost two hours to get out of the airport, with various things to take care of. We got through immigration fairly quickly, found the shuttle to baggage claim, picked up our luggage, went through customs, and then came out into the front part of the airport. Kate was still feeling pretty groggy, but we sat by this fountain and had a snack and she perked up. Doug stayed with the kids while I found a convenience store and bought four tea money cards and figured out where to rent a Wi-Fi egg, and then got a hold of our Airbnb hostess who was picking us up. We spent the night at Ogamul Guest House, which was absolutely wonderful, and headed into Seoul the next day. We wanted to ride the maglev, so our hostess Anna dropped us off at Yongnyu Station instead of taking us to the airport metro station. Right now the maglev only has six stations on a six kilometer track, but eventually it's supposed to make a circle around the island. It was pretty cool. There's no driver, so you can sit right up in the front. Let me get this clear. I'll be going back to the airport to get on the subway. Right. Doors are closing. Good. <laughs> you don't want to go back to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> We got off at the airport station, figured out how to use our team money cards, which took a few minutes, and then got on the metro to Seoul. Cammy picked us up at Seoul Station and drove us to her house. Now we can go this way around Namsan, or we can go down to Bangchan and up Kyungbido. Which one do you like better? Um, let's go around Namsan. Down. Unfortunately, it's so cloudy, there's not right. going to be a great okay. view.
We had a bit of a rest at Cammie's house and went out later and found some dinner at a little place in the neighborhood and got ice cream. Cammie lives in Itaewon, just down the hill from the Namsan Hyatt. We enjoyed staying with her family and their cats and dogs. We had a fun couple of days in Seoul before heading south for the next part of our adventure. What do you think Hi. of that, Andy? <laughs> Hi, Andy. He's waving to the camera. Do you know waving. where you are, Andy? Andy, where are you? He says, I'm right here. <laughs> On the walkway. Duh. Where are you? Thanks for watching.